Hey, this is Abby from Media.com with the final part in this video series on how to properly brand your Facebook page. Today we're going to be talking about the dull topic of keywords. It's not as interesting as setting up your profile picture or your landing tab or anything like that, but it is a great way to drive traffic and to come up in search results. So the first thing is your vanity URL, which is basically the page, the URL which drives traffic to your page. As you can see, mine is facebook.com forward slash media. And, um, and you know, you have two options when you're setting up a vanity URL. First one is to just go with your business brand name. The second one is to just go with a few generic keywords. Like, so in my case, I could have gone with social media experts, social media for small business, if they were available. Um, but I chose just to keep my brand consistent to just go with my brand name. Uh, I think Facebook does tend to prefer that because they do like your pages to just reflect your business and not reflect any sort of generic terms. Um, but what I could have done is gone for media social media expert or media social media for small business. Um, that is another way of doing things which gives you a personal touch with your own brand name but at the same time you get to fit a few generic keywords in there. Um, and that is quite important because if you sometimes find Facebook search results coming, Facebook results coming up in search results on Google, for example, sometimes it will just be the Facebook page vanity URL which comes up, which has the keywords in it. Um, the main place where you are going to be getting your keywords in, though, is in the basic information. Uh, if you are on your Facebook page's home page, as it were, if in the top right you click on edit page, this will take you to a screen looking like what you can see here. Um, from there you click on the basic information and you scroll down a little bit and there's a few text boxes there which are which you need to fill in with a few keywords to basically explain a bit about your business, to add a bit more text to your page and to again come up more highly in search results. Um, so as you can see with the red arrows these are the key boxes which you need to pay attention to. The about box is just, I think it's a limit of something like 250 characters. Um, and what you do is basically just sum up briefly what your business does. And this appears on your profile, um, just below the profile picture. So in the left hand tab, just above your the various buttons like your wall, um, your photos, that sort of thing, it appears along there. So when someone's looking at your page, whether they're a fan or not, they can see that. Um, a company overview is sort of, well, is pretty much an overview of your company. When did you start? Maybe how long you've been running for? How many staff you've got? Um, maybe even why you started, that sort of thing. Uh, it's a little bit general. And I always assume the description is meant to be basically the sort of services you offer, why people should choose you. Um, both of these are pretty big, pretty open, broad uh, categories. So you can pretty much put in as many keywords as you want there. Um, like as you can see in mine, there is social media mentioned quite a few times. Um, I still need to tweak mine a little bit because it is a sort of ongoing, it's an ongoing process of experimentation, like SEO generally is. Um, so, you know, that will keep changing. That's not something that's going to stay the same. Um, mission is sort of, it's pretty much your company's belief. Why you do what you do. Uh, why did you set up this business? Um, so you fill that in there, as you can see I still need to fill mine in. And again, it is another chance to get some, some important words in there so you come up highly in search results. Awards, probably not so much because, um, <coughs> because well, you can't change the name of an award to match your keywords. But, uh, you know, if you win awards, it's great to put them in there so that you can look like, so that you can show that you are a reputable business and that shows why your fans or potential customers should do business with you. Products, I'd say it overlaps a little bit with description. You explain the services you offer, maybe a description in terms of a list, maybe um, a link to a product page on your website, something like that. Uh, again, you, unless you're changing your product name to match your keywords, you're not going to get a lot of keywords in there. But um, it's something that's worth filling out, which I haven't actually done yet. Great. Um, so just as a general overview, your keywords should be the sort of things which you're trying to rank highly for in Google um, and other search engines like Yahoo and Bing. Um, and you should fill out the basic information with what you do, what your USP is, uh, why people should like your page, why people should buy off you. Um, 
your fans won't necessarily be reading this unless they um, unless they do click on the info tab on your page but with the right keywords in there you'll still rank high in search results so you'll come up in Google and you'll come up even in Facebook search um, and the other thing which is a great tip is using the notes function so if you have got so if on your personal profile you write a note or even on your page you write a note and tag your page in it um, notes rank pretty well on Google so um, <clears throat> So basically, when someone's searching for a certain term on Google, your note's likely to come up quite high. They can click on that, they can get driven directly to your page from there. And with the rest of your profile set up as you want it to be, with your brand coming across nicely, uh, that's more reason for them to like it. Um, I would always say keyword optimization is a technically advanced area, and it is worth getting a specialist or an expert to take a look at it at some point in time. Um, if you're doing the other things right, the keywords, isn't necessarily um, it doesn't have as high a value because if you've got a lot of active fans you're posting great content your page is probably going to go viral anyway so that's not something to worry about but when you do get your keywords right it's great because traffic is being driven there to your page for free and that has a huge amount of value for you um, so that's all there is in this video series uh, I hope you've enjoyed the five parts telling you how to properly brand your Facebook page if you have any questions either on keywords or on anything else we've covered in this series, um, feel free to get in touch uh, either by my website, media.com. You can email me, abby at media.com. Get in touch on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash media, or on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash media. Um, and if you have, put, if you have uh, gone through the steps which I outlined on all the videos and you're seeing some good success and liking the way your page is looking, drop me a message and let me know as well. Thanks. Bye.